Hey everybody, it's Bure Perry from Tampa, Florida, and in this video I am going to take you through step-by-step -step how I crop an image in Snapseed so that I can put it on Instagram. Now, this is the first video in a series. I'm going to start with this image, and then I am going to make a video for each tool that I use in Snapseed until we eventually will arrive at a finished image ready to go on Instagram. And Snapseed is a great little program you can download and use on your phone if you want to edit images on the go uh, because you want to put them on Instagram or Facebook or someplace like that. So uh, I thought I would do a series that showed you step by step what I do to a particular image. So the first thing we're going to do on this image right here is we're going to crop it. Now you might be thinking cropping is the thing we want to do last to the image, right? Well, yeah, it kind of is most of the time. But you know what they say about every rule deserves to be broken. Well, for me, if I'm working in my phone, I want to work quick, I want to work fast, and I don't want to make a bunch of edits to an image only to then crop those edits away, right? So what I like to do is actually crop my image first, and that way I'm working on the finished crop. I'm working on the finished palette uh, for my image and I won't be wasting any time editing things that aren't going to make the final product. Okay, so we've got this in Snapseed and the first thing we do is we go down right here to where it says tools at the bottom right. We press tools and we bring up all of our tools and this can be daunting if you've never used Snapseed. All of these, all of these many, many options, but it's really not that hard once you get used to it. A lot of these options I never ever use, for example. So crop is at the top right corner right here. You see crop, so we press crop and we bring up the cropping menu. <clears throat> now, right off the bat, at the bottom, they're going to show you um, the different uh, preset crops that you can do. And it's already set to square, which is what we want for Instagram. But we're going to start with original. Right there, there's original. So this is our original crop. And we know we want to put it on Instagram, so we know we want to crop it to a square if at all possible. So first thing I do is I try to crop it to a square and see if that's going to work for me because that's the ideal crop for something going on Instagram. So here we go. Here's our square. Why do we have all these lines in the square? What's this tic-tac-toe grid? What, what is this grid? What's this about? Well, this is a classic way of helping you to determine the best way to crop an image, and it's called the rule of thirds. And it is as old as time itself for photography and for art and for any time that you're creating something in a set space. The rule of thirds helps you determine how you should crop the particular piece that you're working on. So it looks like a tic-tac-toe grid, but what you really need to concentrate is on the vertical lines or the horizontal lines by themselves. So in other words, if you just look at the horizontal lines, there's two of them. And if you ignore the vertical lines, then the horizontal lines are cutting the picture into three sections. The top section, the middle section, and the bottom section. And now if you concentrate on the vertical lines, you'll see that it cuts the picture into three sections. The left section, the middle section, and the right section. So there are lots of rules uh, that go with the rule of thirds, but one of the most prevalent rules is when you're cropping an image and you're using the rule of thirds, you want to try and have something that's important to the image in every single third. So you want it in every third, top to bottom, and every third, left to right. And when you're cropping a square, this becomes kind of easy, easier than most cases, because you, squares tend to really zoom in tight on their subject fairly easily without extra space out to the sides. So here's our original crop. And when I look at this, I think, okay, well, there's kind of a lot of space around him, right? There's a lot of stuff out here in the corners and in the background that's kind of distracting. I really want to force the viewer to look at what I want them to look at. And in this case, it's going to be his face and I think his shirt too because I like his shirt, you know, the black and white stripes. So I want to kind of close that crop in just a little bit. But another thing that you can look at is if you look at those vertical lines, right, and you look at where they fall in relation to his head. His head is the thing that you want people to look at. And as you can see, it's almost completely contained in the inside of the middle section, right? It's not breaking into the left and the right vertical columns. And that is a sign that the rule of thirds is not doing what you want it to do. You want him to break those frames. You want the thing that's important to you to stretch into the left and the right as well. Don't ask me why. It has to do with how your brain perceives things, but it's a proven fact that it works. So let's crop in a little bit smaller like this. 
Okay, that's better. See, now you see that his head is starting to break a little bit, but you know what? I'm going to crop in even more to right about there. Now what have we got? Now we see his ears are breaking into the other frames. His shoulders are definitely filling up the left and the right sides. His arms as well. And if you look at the horizontals, you've got his eyes and the top of his head in the top uh, section. You've got the, uh, his nose and his mouth in the middle section. And you've got his shirt and everything in the bottom section. And if you look, you'll see that there's just not a whole lot to distract you. If you look at this picture, you're not going to really be able to look at anything except for this man and his shirt. And those are the two things that I want you to look at. So I think that's going to be our crop. So we're going to come down here and we're going to hit the check mark. And take a look at that crop. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. And we could crop it in even tighter. But this is where you get to make artistic decisions. Because if I cropped it in tighter and you didn't have any of the distraction that was behind him, you would really be able to focus on him and his shirt. But part of the story that I want to tell with this picture is the fact that I was in the Caribbean, I was standing in a town square, and this man came up to me and asked me if he could clean my shoes. It would be $5 to clean my shoes. And I said, sure. And I let him clean my shoes, I paid him $5, and I took his picture while he did it because I thought this would be a good chance for me to get some cool pictures while I'm here walking around. So I do want to kind of show the square behind him to give a context as to where I'm at. So this is going to be our crop. I like this crop. So this is the end of video number one. Video number one is cropping. I've cropped the image and now we're going to move to the next step, which is to enhance the image to make it look a little bit better for Facebook. And that's going to be in the next video. So keep watching for that.